Hello and welcome to another Google My Business uh, tutorial. This one we're going to focus on optimizing your your um, in, your basic information. So your basic info is under your info page here, and this is where you'll type in what type of business you are. Now you you're given a specific. Uh, you you can't just type in what you want. So you have there's a list, and that the list is provided. Uh, through a link on the blog post uh, you'll see below this video um, but you it, it's predefined so you you can only click and don't uh, one of the most important things I can tell you to do is to make sure that you do not um, you, you don't go over what your what your actual information is don't go past that okay because what can happen you can be flagged for it and then your 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 uh, information can go down like your listing can go down for sometimes i've, I've seen uh, i've had a client or two that it's happened to and it's been for 60 days you know before someone gets in to, to look at it again and especially during this time with COVID 19 is there's limited functionality and limited response times like i edited this a few days ago um and it, it hasn't updated yet so um keep it as accurate as possible Okay, so what you can do is you can type what type of business you are. You might be a functional medicine practitioner, so it'll be a wellness clinic. You might offer wellness programs, all those sort of things. So those are options for you. Put your actual address in, even if if it's not, uh, even if you're not, um, it's not exactly where you uh, where you work from. Um, you can actually uh, in your in your settings, you can say whether or not people can actually come to your address. Okay. And then your areas of service, you can just put Miami, Florida, and it'll give you it'll give a radius around that. Okay, I service the United States and Miami, Florida. Um, your opening hours, always keep these up to date. You get your set of basic opening hours. Then you also get special hours, so holidays and like right now, a lot of you might be closed. So you can do you can you can put that information in there. Your phone numbers. Uh, this is the this is your ad address. So it's important you claim this. Um, and if it's still available, a shorter the name, the better. Um, and that's your ad address. So you'll get a link for reviews, a link for, um, for your profile with that address. This is your website address. Put the full URL in. And if you've got appointments, which mine's basically just contact. If you've got any products that you want to advertise, you can advertise your products there. Um, and service the services you provide. Now, each of my services, I've also got a description with those services. Okay, so I've got them broken up in art marketing and, and website design. Okay, I don't actually have an option to change this. It gives you what ones you can can use. Uh, that's it. Um, obviously, no, neither of those apply to me. And then you've got your description. Your description should be this first paragraph should be exactly what you do because that short snippet will appear on Google uh, Google Maps. Um, so the first 250 characters out of you get 750 characters. You can't put any links in this uh, description. If you try it, I'll just say, make the change. So you can't do anything about that. So keep it nice and short and, and exactly what you do. And the reason I say be precise, because it's not, this is no place to, to add any flourishes about what you do. It's all about accurate information because you can be flagged. But not only that, your competitors can say, hey, you, you, you don't offer these services, blah, 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 blah your um and also your customers can also uh, flag flag your listing okay and you your opening dates and all that sort of stuff now it's very difficult for me because i work from home so it's very difficult for me to put a lot of information in here that's going to get me business you know people do search for me uh but very limited because i'm a web developer and you know pretty much i've got one client i think in my in my local area maybe two um in miami uh, in Florida, I might have four or five. In in the US, you know, uh, around a hundred. Okay, so it's it's a little bit more difficult for a web developer. Okay, uh, but for a, for a, cert, a a doctor's clinic, a, a practitioner, a dentist, all that sort of stuff, really important. You get all the information in here, um, and then you can also add photos. So with your photos, I mean, mine again are like what I've got my cover photo, which is really important. That's the one that's going to display everywhere. So that's got to be a certain size. And then you've got your 
Then you've got your logo. And on my blog post, I've got the exact sizes for your cover photo and logo. Your logo should be square with a lot of white space on either side. The reason for that is it'll be displayed in a circle in a lot of places. So um, it will be very hard to see if you've got a really wide logo. It'll be very hard to see. But if you can get your developer or designer to create a square logo for you, great. And then give it a bit of white space because when you upload it, you'll see what it says about the uh, when it tries to resize it. Uh, and then photos, like I've got a Machu Picchu. This is somewhere in Ecuador, uh, Malta, I think. Um, Eastern Europe, I think that's Ukraine. It's a theatre in Ukraine. And then my office. So what can I do? I mean, I work from home. I'm just going to take 15 photos of a computer. No. Uh, so it's a little bit more difficult for me. But for you, you should. You can see up here, you can put videos up. Videos are limited to 30 seconds. So be short, short and sharp. Do one of your clinic. If, you, if you're doing Instagram videos, well, then why aren't you doing this? Put a video in, of your clinic. You can put videos, a video of each of the service you provide, um, who, who you're, what sort of conditions you treat. Maybe you can do little 30-second frequently asked questions. Practice them on Instagram. Do them in landscape mode. Always do videos in landscape mode. Never do them in portrait mode. It's great for Instagram, but that's it. Landscape mode you can use on Instagram. You can use multiple places. Okay. Um, it, you know, might do a video of your exterior. You might do a, a video inside your, your property. But then you've got photos for your interior. Get one really good photo of your exterior. Um, pe uh, people working, uh, your team, and the identity is your cover and logo. So that pretty much covers uh, covers all of that. Um, just make sure you stick to the guidelines. Don't go outside of the guidelines because it will only hurt you. Your competitors... If they see anything that's not appropriate, they'll flag you in a second, okay? So keep it real, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, uh, and the, the next episodes, we'll talk about the services pages, uh, users, and all, all that sort of stuff, and then how you can continually go back and update it. And, you know, with your post, you can add some links inside it, albeit full full links, not, not link text. Um, but there you go. Great opportunity, guys, to get this right. If you need help, you can get us to, to – we'll actually – we do an optimization service and do a little SEO, uh, free SEO uh, overview for you as well. Uh, if you want to share your profile at peter at agentpoint.com, I can help you there. All right, but thanks very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it. Make sure you go to the, to the link below the video because that's got a, a, a link to the blog post that gives you all the information that you need. Thank you. Goodbye.